Meantime, this morning, Chelsea Clinton made her 100th campaign appearance at Villanova University in Pennsylvania. And Chelsea has quickly evolved into one of her mother's most effective surrogates out on the campaign trail. In fact, Hillary Clinton tells Access Hollywood tonight she's proud of the way her daughter handles herself on the trail. Chelsea's been on the road with you. How do you think she's been handling herself, you know, when she gets asked these questions that she particularly doesn't want to answer? And she's, do you think she's holding her own up there? I sure do. And I think she's been very genuine, very straightforward. Um, she says no, or she says yes, whatever uh, she believes is right. And I think she uh, has done very well. Ann Cornblue is national political reporter for the Washington Post and joins us now. She wrote a big front page piece about this in the Washington Post. It was a great piece, Ann. Thanks, Nora. You know, um, Hillary Clinton there says she says yes, she says no. But what really Chelsea Clinton has said is it's none of your business sometimes when people have asked her about the Monica Lewinsky uh, whole affair. How have we seen Chelsea Clinton evolve over these past couple of months? Well, it's been this incredibly rapid transformation. I mean, I remember when I first started covering Senator Clinton, oh, about two years ago, Chelsea was nowhere to be seen when Senator Clinton first launched her campaign. Her daughter was around here and there, but she was always standing silently in the background. We never even heard her voice. You had to go up close to her on the rope line at events if you wanted to even hear what her voice sounded like. Since Iowa, when she first made an appearance with her grandmother um, in December, and really starting in January after her mother lost Iowa, Chelsea has gone out on the road by herself. She now has her own little team of people who travel with her and develop her events. And she has really come into her own in a more rapid way than I think anyone could have expected. She's taking questions, she's doing all kinds of events, and she's really sort of in control of her own political life here. She's taken a leave of absence, obviously, from her job to come out and do this. Um, so suddenly she's everywhere, having been quiet and really nowhere all this time. You know, um, she's been targeting mostly young people. People. We see her at these colleges making her 100th appearance today, essentially targeting what's Obama's core support group as young people. Any evidence, though, that she's having any effect or it's helping her mother with young people? Well, I think at the margins. The campaign certainly thinks she is. Otherwise, they wouldn't continue having her do this. And it was really her idea, people in the campaign said. After her mother lost Iowa so overwhelmingly, she said, wait, hang on a second. I can help with young people. Uh, she's at least within range. She's now mm. 28. Um, we've seen in a couple of states where only she has campaigned, not her mother or father, that she's been able to, um, or they believe in, an, in any event, that she's been able to reduce his margins, not pick up as many delegates as he might have. Um, and she I can tell you just from my traveling with her um, in Pennsylvania, she draws large crowds of young people and gets them to listen. She's also able to talk to old people. I saw her at a retirement home, you know, do mm -hmm. the same spiel. But she was able to bring a large crowd, and they think they've seen evidence in states like Vermont and, and uh, Wyoming. And, uh, and I know that, I guess, uh, she also made news... Uh, uh, when she was asked last week if her mom would make a better president than her dad, and Bill Clinton sort of reacted to that uh, last night. Uh, just a quick answer, and um, there's no sign that, that Chelsea Clinton is going to pull back, and she will always be by her mother's side. I even noticed at the debate, it's usually her, not Bill Clinton, who's there. She's uh, always the one who's there. I expect yeah. that that will continue, because there's no downside for them in having her out with her mom. All right, Ann Cornblue, thanks so much. Thank you. And uh, as we showed you earlier, Hillary Clinton is going to talk about her daughter's devotion to the campaign tonight. That's on Access Hollywood. Check, check your local listings for airtime on your local NBC station.